Hello friends, my name is Gautam. So in this tutorial, I will be talking about uh, the JavaScript fetch API with promises. So how to make a request using the fetch API with promise. So this will be a short little tutorial. So basically fetch API is a simple interface for making the request. You can see that fetch API is a simple interface for fetching the resources which are there on the internet. So let me just take a very simple example and illustrate to you about fetch here. So we will be making a request. So this let, let's suppose this is a client and this is a server. So we make a request to get some data you can see that making a request for data and this the methods are available they are get post put or delete you can either uh, get the data by this get method or you can post data or you can delete data or update the data so these are the four methods so first of all we will talk about what is promises and fetch api so basically it returns the status of the promise of the asynchronous operation you can see that it returns the state of the promise of an asynchronous operation and it has various states first is the pending state second is the fulfilled state and third is the rejected state so these are three states which are there so now let me just use the fetch and the using the fetch api and promises together let's take an example so first of all create a new variable fetch promise and we will be fetching this uh, resource at this given url so you can see that this is a url so if i console log fetch promise so we are making this request to this url so if you open your console you will get this message printed out that is promise pending so here the promise is in the pending state so now we need to convert that promise into a starting state so let me just show you the code here so first of all we are making the request here using fetch to this url and we will be using the dot then function in order to uh, get the response from this api so dot then so we are console log response here so if i show you if you open the console you will get the response back from this api with a status code of 200 you can see that this is a response so now we need to convert this response into json language so that we can pass this and display onto our application so for this we will be using the dot json method so you can see that first of all we are getting the response and we are returning response dot json so this again returns a promise that we need to we need to execute this promise by again dot then function and this we are consoling log that is people so if you open the console here so then you will see the full response which is coming from the api in the json format you can see that 